Hey guys, welcome to Newly Brains Gaming. In this film, we're just going to do a quick video on this, um, you know, retro gaming handheld device. You know, there's so many around, but this one's an extra cheap one. It's about $11, $11 US off of AliExpress. I'll link it below. Although this one I actually got it just from a local store for, I paid a little bit much, but, uh, I, you know, you don't want to wait two months. You pay a little bit more and at least you have that convenience, right? So this is about 250 games. It's got like Mario Brothers, just the first one, uh, Contra, Donkey Kong, um, a few other ones. And honestly, in the little time I've been playing with it, it's actually a lot of fun and it is kind of cool, but there's some, some real big cheapness going on. But you know what? I can't really complain if you think about it for 12 bucks, like how much can they really put into it. But we're just going to go over it, some of the games and stuff like that, you know, recommendations or not, and go from there. But before anything, you know, I, I want to unbox it for you. And that's it. This one actually comes with no packaging, no box, nothing like that. It's literally a little sleeve, you know, wrapped up in an orange DHL or whatever you order from um, packaging. Um, <laughs> to tell you the truth, when I got it, off the bat, I didn't look at it. You just literally, I, I saw it, I'm like, oh, cool, retro, let me just take that. Um, but, uh, the, like, there's a model that's like $3 more that I would recommend getting. It looks a little bit different. Same kind of cheap plastic, but a little bit of a different design. But it actually has uh, built-in, like you, you have the option of AAA batteries, but it also has, uh, it comes with a battery, a chargeable battery with a charger. And that's pretty cool because you have the convenience of both. Like, what I, you know, like what I like about this is AAA batteries, you know, they last a long time on this thing because the screen doesn't use a lot of power and doesn't drain very fast, which is good. But at the same time, you know, it'd be good to have both, right? So for like three dollars more, I'm gonna link that one too because if you, if I could have chose, I would choose that one instead of this one. Um, but I just wanna put that quickly out there and uh, before anything because this one's okay. It's like eleven dollars, but the other one's like thirteen dollars. Now, mind you, I'm not including taxes and shipping stuff like that. That's you know depends where you're ordering it to and stuff like that. But that's generally what it is. All right. Start on the out front, uh, in the back here. So, uh, for if you got the three dollar upgraded one, um, there's actually quite a big difference for only three dollar difference. One is it uses three AAA batteries, but as well it comes already with a battery that goes. Because if you take these out here, there's another battery that can go there. So you can choose either or that one or the AAA batteries. You know, like if you're in the car and it dies on you, you use AAA batteries. But this one doesn't give you that option, it's just AAA batteries. But you can see the hole there and the space for the battery there um, that they just didn't put in. As well as it doesn't come with a screw here and this pop top part here, every time you play or anything like that, it pops up a little bit. It's always like sticking up a little bit loose. So if you can put, can put a little screw in there to keep it in place, uh, although it is annoying if you, every time you gotta change your batteries. And then you got the two speakers here which work. Very, very cheap quality speakers, but they do work and it comes out of both of them. The top here, there's the power button to turn it on and off. There's just an empty hole, and this was a sticker covering that empty hole. But there's also an empty hole here. This is where you're supposed to be able to charge it, and there's a light to indicate it's charging for the other battery. So when, when you get the one with the $3 upgrade, it actually includes that, which is makes a difference. Then here you got the D-pad. And then you have these buttons here, which is the same layout pretty much as a PS2 controller. You got the square, the triangle, circle, and the X. Start and pause button here, so when you want to get into games, you push this button. Sound, it doesn't have a control for sound. You could, you have four options, you know, off, you know, soft, medium, and loud, which doesn't get very loud, but it's actually not that bad. You have the reset button. Every time you want to get a game or something like that, you just press the reset button. And that's pretty much all that is on the outside. So we can like, turn it on and go from here now. Okay, now turn it on here. All right, so you have the Chinese and you have the English. Just press start here. And then sh this is the, the list of the games here. You know, you got a like Galaxy and Pac-Man, Donkey, uh, Millipede, Tetris, Contra, Super Mario. So, one and two player, which I guess you obviously won't play two players on here. I actually was playing this one, it's actually a lot of fun. 
So I don't know if you guys just saw that, but that game just literally just crashed on me. <laughs> Although when I was playing before, it didn't, but uh, let me see here. Let's try this one here, see if it helps. This one, to me... So the reason it was crashing on me is this battery was barely sitting in because this cover was popping off again. So definitely if you can just try to screw that in because that's really frustrating. Because I don't know, like it wasn't it wasn't crashing at all when I was testing it before and then just kept shutting off. Now it should be no problem. If you go in here to more games, it'll tell you the list of 246, which all the other games I just showed you are back in here anyways. Like here's Contra again. See, it's so it's 246 even though it tells you 298. So, so this is as loud as it goes. Now you can hear it actually gets pretty loud. Like It's actually good for if you're just playing on here. One that's on here that I actually like is Excite Bike. It's a pretty fun little game. But pretty much any game here you go in, everything seems to be working. Obviously, I didn't go through every single game. And the funny thing is, these buttons in a game, because it doesn't make sense, because usually it's just the two buttons on the NES, uh, these buttons a lot of times do all the same thing. Sometimes one's supposed to be kind of like a turbo, but generally it does the same thing. So they start, pause. Alright, so I don't regret having this or getting this. It's actually a lot of fun, like when you play with it and stuff like that, it's really good. But as you can see, I don't know if you saw when it was messing up and stuff like that. I, I just thought the thing was messing up already and I was really annoyed. But then I realized the back had become loose. So yeah, you definitely should find a little screw and try to put that in place or put a piece of tape. You know, scotch tape or something, something that won't stick on too bad. And, you know, in the middle of playing, I imagine you get far in the level. It's not like you can save on here, right? So you get far in the level, it shuts off on you. Um, and one thing I didn't mention when I was actually going over it, there's a 2.5 color screen, uh, 2.5 inch color screen, sorry, um, and you cannot change the brightness. What it is is what it is, which it's decent if you're outdoors and stuff like that. It's not that too bad, you can still see it, but the only thing that sucks is it's a little bit bright if you're in like the dark or something like that. Because the screen is so small, it doesn't really like hurt your eyes or something like that. Like I, I did it for like five minutes, not like I was there too long, maybe if after like 20 minutes or so of playing. You know, I can imagine like that, but a lot of times when people buy this, they don't really play for a long period of time anyways. But it's an awesome little thing if you want to just go on a trip or something like that, you put it in your pocket, you know, go to the dollar store, buy a pack of like four AAA batteries for like a dollar. Um, but like I said, if you can go for the other model that at least you can charge, so you have both options. It is, like, it makes a difference to just do that. Uh, and then also build quality on these things is ridiculously cheap. Like, there, there's no cheap, you can't get cheaper plastic than this. And also when you're playing another thing that I didn't like is these buttons. Um, they don't have the greatest feel on it. They're like they're they're lifted a bit too high up. So when you push it, sometimes it's annoying in a game. Uh, like it makes it more difficult. You push it, and you feel like you're pushing, but it doesn't actually click properly. And some of like that, so you, the game becomes a little bit harder. Like in Super Mario, it's, it's a little bit hard to make it feel like it should feel. Um, but overall, like the look of it and everything like that, it's a decent little device. 
And I mean, if you can get it for like $20 shipped to your house, it, you have a lot of fun with it. And like, I don't know all the titles in here. I don't know all the titles for NES, but the ones that I like, I, I mean, I do really wish it had Mario 2. Um, that would have been actually really cool, but uh, it has Mario 1. I do like Contra, uh, Pac-Man, Tetris. I, I like those kind of games, Excite Bike. So it has a lot of games that I do play and do like and it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to go and play with that and like you know it's so inexpensive to play all these old titles now on like anything there's so many like there's like unlimited amounts of different count uh you know retro you know game like handheld devices consoles like there's so many waiting from like you can literally as low as five dollars for some like cheap little tetris thing or something like that it's just crazy there's just so many, but this one I just happened to see it and buy it, and so I figured I'd make a little video on it. But it, you know, what, overall, I still have a lot of fun. I don't regret having it at all. If I could have had the one with the chart body, like literally, that's a big thing to me. And like I already said, like the sound doesn't have like a volume number, it's like volume knob or anything like that. You just you have the four options, you know. But at least it has mute, which is good in case you're playing at night. Obviously, no headphone jack and like that. It's not too big. And I do like actually that it doesn't look like, a, you know, you can get the one the same thing, but it looks like a PSP or a Game Boy Advance. I don't like when they look like something and they're playing something else. Like, I'd rather be its own thing. So yes, it's kind of ugly and, you know, vibrant, light lime green, but I, I kind of like that it's its own device. It's not looking like something else. Maybe I guess it's kind of like a second game gear, but in general, like it's its own thing. So, you know what, for 20 bucks, if you can get it for $20, I think you'll have a lot of fun on it. Um, you know, I'm sure it's something you're gonna end up playing. You know, play a few times, like, oh, this is cool, brings back memories, and then you gotta stick it on the shelf. But it's really cool to have, and sometimes it's fun to just collect, see how many different varieties you can get with the same kind of games. Because some, don't forget, these are pirates, so they'll always have a like, glitch here and there, stuff like that. Try to beat the whole game and see, like, I haven't gotten that far, I just play here and there. But overall, it's a nice little, little device. Jeez. And, uh, yeah, if you can get it for 20 bucks, there you go. Uh, leave the link below as well as the other one. I um, hope you liked the video, found it somewhat informative. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll we'll see you in the next one.